What's up guys? I'm Tyler. And I'm Brittany. We're back at you again, Wallace Farm and Sawmill. And today guys, today's going to be a mix mash of everything that we got to go on around here. So what we're doing is we're preparing for the winter. And, there's, and, and we're going to show you some of the projects like the chicken coop in the back that we've been working on. We've got some Arctic temperatures coming up, uh, especially for us Southerners down here. We are not used to below 20 not at all no we, we don't do below 20 around here and we've got a couple nights that are going to be 8 to 11 degrees over the next couple days so we got to prepare and we're going to go wrap some pipes we're going to go check the fluids and the tractors we're going to adjust everything around here and i'm going to take you on a grand tour of our 85 90 percent completion on our chicken pen the chicken pen is a done is a done is done enough that you will no longer see random chickens running in the background <laughs> around the sawmill they are as pictured behind me inside of a actual pen now so that's good they won't slip out into our spring gardens and destroy them so let's get it what we got to do is start cleaning up the area every time you build something you're left with a bunch of debris wood junk laid around now it's time to clean this up because we got to live around here and this looks like a mess. So I'm about to pick up everything and move the old little chicken pen that I half run over with a tractor a few months ago. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going to start getting all these pipes wrapped and taking care of some general things that you got to do on a farm. Let's get to it. Just like that, guys. Magically, it's all cleaned up. And it's on the trailer. And now we gotta take the Ford and take it and put that on the burn pile slash scrap pile. We got some metal we'll have to go through and pull screws out and everything to get rid of all of that old thing. But that is the new chicken pen. Now the dress out work is not done. We still got to add a handle and a latch. We got to do the battens at the top. We got to trim out the top. We got a lot to do, actually. But, as you can see, our chickens are all doing good out here. I'm going to take you and show you something really cool. We have a buddy of mine who spends a lot of money with the sawmill over here. He's a good friend and has me saw a lot of wood for him. He, last year, came up and gave me some eggs, and I hatched them off probably about eight, nine months ago, maybe ten months ago. And in those eggs was some green eggs for those olive eggers. And the first egg we've got since I hatched those out is today, and we now have an olive egg. That's awesome. So that's why we built that. We get our eggs in here. i got to move my tools out of here, and then we got to add... Over here, we're going to add some roost poles for them to sleep on at night. And then over here, we're going to add in some nesting boxes. But as you step through, eventually we'll fix a door here so we can close this, keep predators out at night as well. But there's our pen. And there's the chickens.
right, guys, we've taken you through some of the random tasks that we had to get through. We got to get those pipes wrapped, but there's one more thing we have to take care of. I do make my deliveries to the pallet shop on Monday mornings, and I got to finish out a little bit on that pack, get those packs strapped. I'll show you our new strapping machine, and then get them strapped to that trailer over there so and hooked up. Because in the morning... We just want to drive out. Yeah, it's going to be really, really, really cold. We want to come out fully clothed with our jackets and everything and we want to slip right into that truck and go we don't want to have to wake up early in the morning and get out in the cold and strap all this stuff so let's get that taken care of Tool. Well, we get up to the pallet company, we can let these go. We used to use steel banding on our, our ties and stuff, but I always wanted to try the poly. I've heard good things about it. It's so far so good, but we haven't done many packs with it. This will be our first six packs on the trailer to use it. Let's get this machine stuck right in the middle. And then it auto cuts its excess off. And that's that. She is done.
get this one. Okay guys, I said I had to get around to it. We're gonna have to go and put some extra insulation around this pipe. I put this in last year so we could water the garden out here. And we don't need it freezing up, so I'm gonna put some insulation around this pipe that I got standing up here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a bucket filled with hay over the top of that. And hopefully, that won't freeze on us. Now, I know we got a lot of people from all around where it's cold and whatnot that follow our channel. And guys, we just don't know how to handle the cold in the <laughs> south. Uh, we just start to lose our mind. You know, it's a, a funny thing. If you're from the south, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about when you're watching this video. If you're not from the south, well, then let me teach you something about the south. In the south, every time it gets cold... And I mean, for us, colds anything below anything below 20 is just unbearable. Um, at least that's what we consider it to be. There is a thing where everybody runs to the grocery store, and there's two items that they are going to buy up every single time we have a cold snap that's going to be here for a day or two. And I want you to go in the comments below, and I want you to tell me what those two items are right now before you watch any more of this video and we're going to see how southern you are all right now that you've had time to pause and go down the comments and tell me what them two items are it's going to be bought up i'm going to tell you what them two items are milk and bread now i don't know what you can do with milk and bread make milk and bread sandwiches but when it gets cold you gotta have them Say hello, Freya. Guys, if you haven't met Freya yet, she is a miniature dachshund that we will be using this next season in the hunt field with the hawks. She will uh, be running the rabbits and squirrels around. So I just filled this bucket slap full of hay, hollowed out the middle a little bit, and, uh, well, we're going to hope for the best. I need to take some out of the bottom so it sits down deeper. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Now, this was more of a vlog style of an entire day. Not any very specific content here, guys. We just were winding up our day, getting prepared for winter. Cold weather's coming, and we got to get these pipes from keep from frozen because if they freeze and we cold in the house and we can't even get a warm bath, we'd be in a mess. That ain't no fun. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, guys... There's going to be some links in the description below. We will have our Patreon and our merchandise and our P.O. box will be down there as well. Okay, guys. So check that out below. Send us something in the P.O. box. We got a couple letters from some fans. We love that. It's super cool to see and read letters. And uh, I got a few cool things that I'll be showing in the very near future. Guys, I think that's going to be it. We're going to go in the house and warm up. This is the end of the day and we're fully prepared to leave tomorrow. The load is strapped down on the truck. I don't know if you can see it from here. There it is behind <laughs> us. And uh, that's it. So, until next time, guys. See ya.